hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel so today i wanted to share with you my experience with the rosary and how it like changed my life so growing up as a catholic praying the rosary is something we normally do like ideally you're supposed to be praying it every day but for me i used to find it quite tiresome i'll be like praying for a whole 20 minutes how and also you also used to find it boring so it's something okay there are some times i'll be feeling so spiritual so i'll pray it other times i'll be like i see i don't have time so it's not something i used to pray consistently until 20 i think it was 2017 2018 i remember this time i was having some wild dreams <laughs> You know those dreams you wake up, you're like, eh, that was wild. And by wild, I mean some really like pornographic dreams and thoughts. Even just randomly, you're sitting down, vitutus in Akuja. And the weird part for me was that I wasn't watching such material. So I was like, where is this coming from? Junilo Tam, I do not feel chafu. I used to feel so dirty. So I'd be like, where is all this coming from? And I remember one time nilikuwa nimeka kwa matatu. And I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, God, I am tired of this. Because every time I just wake up, I'm like, God, I'm sorry. Even though I'm wondering, where is all this coming from? Nimimi mchafu akili, what is wrong with me? And I remember now that time koka kwa matatu, I'm like, God, I just need help. I need, I need these things out of my head. It was even like stealing my peace. And out of nowhere it's not like i was reading anything about it i just what a voice just came to my head pray the rosary and let me tell you how i ran to pray that rosary civilly kawaida mu changam kakuomba rosary i i was like if this is my solution i am going to pray it i don't care how boring it gets i don't care how long it will take i just need to overcome this so i went prayed the rosary and i remember that night I slept so peacefully. I didn't get those dreams, nor did I get those thoughts. So, Najela, you say, wow, this is actually working for me. So I, I kept on praying and praying. And you know, when something has not worked, for me, I got comfortable. I was like, ah, she's a leander. You're sorry, Kaisha. So I started subconsciously, I just looked for an excuse on why I should not be praying the rosary. So Nikacha for some time. Then Kukaka, these dreams come back again. Kwanza sasa zikarudi na ubaya. Juli ni nani? I go back to the rosary because I figured out what was working. So I went back to the rosary. And every time I go back to it, these dreams zitachana na mimi. So that cycle continued. I become consistent. Ziki nini, ziki acha. I stop. Ivo, ivo, ivo. Until again, I remember now this year. I'll just sit all of a sudden I feel so anxious. Now the, the dreams Nika she tell me on the ear to show overcome. Let's try something new. So say it was anxiety. I'll just be seated. Setting it on a stress or anything, but I'll just be feeling so anxious. I'll feel it all over my body and I'm like, where is all this coming from? I'd feel so afraid. And it will also not start with dark thoughts like feeling so low and feeling so hopeless and i'm like where, where is all this coming from sina any stress so what is happening and i figured julie you, you remember what worked <laughs> when nothing else works i went back to the rosary and the moment i do that again there's this peace i'll get so i learned this will not just be a clutch for me when i am feeling like law and i also figured out this was spiritual attacks because i remember even sharing it i think i was sharing it on a given platform i was telling them that i was struggling with anxiety and i remember the uh, the lady who was in charge of that talk she was like sometimes yes it's the situations around you that you're worried about but other times it's a spiritual attack and i also figured out like even kitambo about the pornographic dreams and thoughts and I figured out that it wasn't actually something I was doing. The devil was actually looking for me. I look at Tafuta. And you know how, I can't remember the exact verse, but it says like the devil is like a roaring lion looking for who to devour. Especially if he, they, he finds out like you're really pursuing Christ. So 
I figured out this was spiritual attack and they were coming for my purity because the way I'd wake up and feel so dirty and now it was he was also coming now for my peace because all this anxiety coming all, all over me and it will steal my peace you see the way we are told that, that I think it's John 10 10 that the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy he's coming for your peace he's coming to destroy your journey of trying to be clean and trying to like to be a better christian he's coming for the things that are good in you so for me i figured out one this is the devil looking for me two there's something i can do and i love there's this quote by pope pius xi but he there's a quote i'll add it here or oh, x9 that says that the the rosary is a weapon against the devil and i have seen it so many people say that that the the rosary is a weapon and somebody could ask julie when he says i will do that and it's not to say that it's not effective but also james 5 16 says that the, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful uh, or it has a powerful effect and as we pray the rosary we are asking mother mary to pray for us so she's also like you know even the way you have an issue and you're taking your request to different people that is what we are doing we are taking our request to our mother to take it to, to her son jesus christ and that prayer has a powerful effect and I could go and on and on on why her prayers are effective. But I also want to tell you, like, praying the rosary is not just about your request. As you're praying the rosary, you're meditating on the mysteries of Christ. So, like, it's a win-win at the same time when you're praying it. You're taking your request, you're also praying, you'll also get to a, your, a point, you're also praying for other people. But you're also, like, becoming better because una, unanza kuwaza, the mysteries of Christ. If you're familiar with the rosary, you know, like, different days we have different mysteries and you're looking at different journeys of the things, the life of Christ on earth. So that is why, like, the rosary is so powerful and it is so, like, it draws us closer to Christ. You know, sometimes people will think, ah, the rosary is just about Mary. No, it's not just about her. It's also it draws you to christ it is christ centered even when you look at the prayers in the whole rosary the focus at the end of the day is christ even as they're giving our request to mother mary she's taking them to christ so and also one of the promises of the rosary there are 15 promises of the rosary i'd encourage you to just go google find out the 15 promises of the rosary but one of the promises is that it's an armor against hell and mother mary promises her protection she loves us as her children and she will do anything to protect us so i'd encourage you pray the rosary and you know how ephesians 6 says that our battle isn't against the physical but against the spiritual forces of the heavenly it's a in a samanga too like it's against the heavenly forces i'm a spiritual forces so sometimes the things you're struggling with you know sometimes you can even be blaming yourself sometimes it's not you sometimes it's the devil looking for you he has found a way to keep you trapped he has found a way to steal your peace i'm a whatever area but i'll ask you have you tried praying the rosary have you asked for mother mary's intercession if you haven't just just give it a try and if you don't know how to pray the rosary it's you can find you can easily find it on google ama if you just need help just and you need drop a comment i'll reach out to you and i can just direct you on how to pray the rosary so i'll leave you with this prayer it's called the memorare i don't know how people pronounce it but for me i say memorare and it says remember O most gracious virgin mary that never was it known to anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or such intercession was left unaided inspired by this confidence i fly unto you O virgin of virgins my mother to you do i come before you i stand sinful and sorrowful O mother of the word incarnate despise not my petitions but in your mercy hear and answer me amen and in that prayer 
You see the way it's mentioned, like, never was it known to anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought intercession, was left unaided. You can trust that she will take your request to Christ. And yes, you can still keep praying directly to Christ. It doesn't negate that. But you have someone else who is praying for you. So please consider the rosary if there is an area you've been struggling with. And it doesn't have to be a very big deal. Even just your life, the rosary has so many benefits in praying it so i'd encourage you please pray the rosary so that's what it well, was it for today i hope this video has encouraged you it has given you something to think about and i hope to hear from you if you have prayed the rosary how, how has it impacted your life i'd really love to hear from you in the comments and that's it for today be blessed and see you in the next video